What's happening, guys? Welcome to the show. Uh, we're going to get it going. Uh, Survivor's starting uh, later this month, and it's going to be a 90-minute episode every episode. That's crazy. But I didn't come on here to talk about that. I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. Uh, I was uh, going through some shorts on YouTube, and I found another video of Jeff talking about uh, his mistake, actually, by uh, addressing Come On In Guys, which, I mean, I got to give him credit uh, with coming out saying, hey, I should have did it this way. The whole time I've been saying, the way you should have did it, you can go back and watch my videos, was just stop. If you really wanted to stop saying it, don't make it a moment. Uh, just stop saying it. No, I said that on my channel. Uh, he said he heard that from someone, or someone told him, uh, you should have did it this way. Uh, I'll just shut up for a second and let you guys watch the clip so you can see what I'm talking about. So check this out. Mark, people have criticized, like, we're too woke. Like, you should never do that. And I said, well, I don't know. I have two kids. I have a boy and a girl. Mm -hmm. And had I said 20 years ago, come on in, ladies, everybody would have thought that was weird. I want my daughter to know if you think that's a weird word yeah. gender-wise, I got you. I, I don't want to be that guy, mm -hmm. that person, mm -hmm. that guy. <laughs> but what somebody pointed out to me was the mistake I made was I made it, I made it a moment. And in that way, I made it about me. And he, and he said, you know, if you just didn't want to do it, stop doing it. If I could do it again, I would do what this guy suggested. And he's a big movie producer, a very smart guy. And I would have just done it and said, this was for me. Okay, so you can see in the clip that he's talking about uh, his kids and uh, uh, talking about at the beginning of the clip how he he well, he would say if he said come on in ladies then that would be weird uh, i mean the thing is th just so you guys know the true definition one of the definitions there's a, uh, several of them but the definition of guys is informal people regardless of their gender that's the definition it's it's not a bad word you know it's it's guys it's I say it on my show. What's happening, guys? You think that I'm excluding the girls because I'm saying that? And nowadays, guys should be perfectly okay because it's regardless of their gender. And there's 1,227 genders. So regardless of that gender, you can say guys. So, uh, But I do want to say that I appreciate Jeff, uh, you know, talking about this. Now, I don't know who did this. Uh, podcast, but I think it's the same podcast. Very good podcast. If you can find it, check it out. Uh, I don't want to keep doing this without saying who actually I'm taking it from. Uh, that's at All Winners Survivor. You can go follow their channel uh, and check out more clips like that. Uh, that about with Jeff, he talks about his favorite season or what's they should been watch. He talks about a, a bunch of good stuff. So. I just wanted to uh, come on here and say, you know, you know, he he sees the, they see uh, the mistakes that they make, and then they come back and say, we should have did it this way. If I could do it over, he said he would just stop saying it completely. Now, I've been saying that as well. That's what they should have did, but in hindsight, uh, you know, what can he do? He's he's on. He's in the moment too. He's in the moment. He's trying to make a TV show. Uh, all of a sudden, they just. Bring it out there. Say, hey, does it offend nobody? And everybody said, no, it didn't. Why would Why would it? I mean, we use guys for everything. Hey, guys, come in. I tell my kids, guys, come on in. It's time to eat. Well, I mean, come on in, guys. It's time to eat. Uh, when they were younger and living with me. But, yeah, it, it's the word we always use. We use that word. So, but I do like this podcast because there's a, a lot of things that you can see that Jeff is, you know, struggling with. Uh, say talking about how people say that the ceiling's too woke because of that particular moment. It's a season. I mean, it's a survivors for everyone. It's for all people. So why would you exclude someone or you know piss people off? Uh, just like if you 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 have a target audience, you do. But it's for all people. Uh, kind of like what Bud Bud Light did. They they didn't you know, target their 
target audience. They went outside of that. That's why people call them woke. Uh, your target audience, I mean, saying, come on in, guys, or not saying it, it doesn't really matter one way or the other. Nobody ever thought that that was a big deal except for probes or maybe some executive producers. Now they've seen the, the backlash from it, and now he's saying he should have did it this way. I appreciate that he's saying that he should have did something this way or this way. You know, it shows that they're listening, guys. They're listening to maybe some of the podcasts, some of the talk. I'm sure they want to bring people back. That's why I'm fairly excited to watch this uh, next season and talk about it. I'm going to bring back my uh, players' performance and the Russell Crown. Uh, it's an hour, 90 minutes, 30 minutes more. So hopefully we see more gameplay and maybe challenges, maybe the food challenge to be back in, stuff like that. Maybe we'll see more of that instead of, I hope they don't use that extra 30 minutes to show us more backstories of people's life outside the house. I mean, this isn't Big Brother. This is Survivor. And uh, it was a very, very successful show for a reason. So now I'm excited to, to cover it this season. Uh, I see them talking, like in this, this podcast, that they see... And they're listening. They want to make it right. I'm hoping that this is the season that they start going down the road that we love. And it can bring back more. Maybe my podcast, as you guys, if you don't want to watch it, watch, listen to my podcast. And I'll tell you, trust me, I'll tell you the truth. If you, if it's okay, hey, it's a good season. Guys, y'all should start watching it again. You know, subscribe to the channel. And then uh, uh, hit that notification bell so you can get notified when I start doing these again. But I just wanted to show you guys that video. I thought it was very interesting. And that's a very interesting podcast that they did. Because they, he, they're asking some tough questions. That I don't know if he really wanted to talk about. Uh, you know like the 26th day. Now 39 day, 26th day. He talks about that. So he's listening to us when we're upset about things. We appreciate that. That's all I got for you. Until next time guys. Keep hope alive.